What's up everyone, this is Barrington Lewis here. Just wanted to uh, talk about the functions and features of the PX655 Cobra. Uh, one of my uh, subscribers commented if I could uh, talk about these functions and features because uh, nobody's talking about it, so I will. So this is the Cobra's PX655. Let's turn this sucker on. Channel one. All right, we start off with channel one. Now, as you can see, there are three buttons here on the uh, Cobra PX655 uh, function. This call slash MON, which is the call monitoring button, month monitoring button, and the last button is the lock button. So let's start with the lock button here. So if I wanted to, for instance, I'm set on channel one. I wanted to make sure that I don't accidentally turn the channel, switch to another channel that prevents me from communicating communicating from my other walkie-talkie. Um, I would just press and hold this function button here. You hear those two little beeps. And if you turn the channel selector knob, it, it just gives you that error message, which basically means that it's not gonna turn, it's not gonna turn from the channel that's been locked, it's been locked to, which is channel one. So if you wanna turn this feature off, you press and hold the lock button again. You hear the double beats and you You can go back to the, uh, your channel selector and turn your channel selector um, knob. So, channel three. it's just letting us know that after three or four seconds, whatever it is, it tells us a double uh, confirmation that we're in channel three. Um, so, let's go to the second button here, which is the call monitoring button. This allows you to increase your uh, maximum range. Um, right now, we're in auto squelch mode turn auto squelch mode off and go into maximum range mode which means you can hear all types of where your signal goes out everyone you can also hear a lot of feedback uh, you just press and hold this call monitoring team button monitoring button here press and hold so you press and hold to turn it on which as you heard all of the static the white noise uh, press and hold to turn it off, which means we're back in auto squelch mode. So, that is just something to know. If you're far away, you're on a, uh, you want to increase your range of your uh, PX655, hold the call monitoring button for, I guess, two seconds. It'll go into maximum range mode, and you can broadcast as far as this will allow. It says this goes up to 42 miles on a flat terrain. I haven't been able to try that, uh, test that out on a flat terrain yet, but I think I will find something for you if you guys want to see that let me know in the comments below um after you like and subscribe and smash that like button also uh with the um we have uh tested this out in the field uh these walkies hobbies here um and tried to drive in the city in our city and see if we are see how far we can get with these uh, walkie talkies um i'll link that up in the video here and um let's go to the next function or the next button here feature is the function button itself uh so we're going to press and hold this and see what happens it's really going to just give us the uh channel code memory so if you want to select the privacy codes press and hold this button it'll tell you which setting is in channel code memory. so we we have the default privacy code set on this now the privacy codes allows us to it goes back to standby mode in channel three. So the privacy button, the privacy codes in here allows us to communicate uh, with each other uh, on a certain channel, but also with a privacy code selected, which allows us to reduce the interference from any other walkie-talkies walkie -talkies that may be nearby. So let's set this in a privacy, let's change this. So we could change this privacy code. If you guys want to select a privacy code for your friend, hold the function button here. It's, it will say channel code memory. Um, once it's in channel code memory, you're going to push the up or down buttons here um, to select your privacy code. These two these two walkie talkies have to be on the same channel and also on the same privacy code to communicate, just to let you know. So, press and hold function. Channel code memory. And then we're going to select up. up. So you can select it and whatever channel you want whatever channel you want to be in. Channel three, code 
So we're in channel three, code 24. We have to put this other system in channel three, code 24. And then they can all, now they commu these two uh, devices can communicate with reduced interference from any other walkie talkie. Just add it and add a feature that this, uh, this uh, PX655 has. If you want to turn that privacy code off to go back to your default, what you're going to do is you're going to turn this system off here. And you're going to press and hold the function button and turn this back on. So that erases all the privacy codes, sets it back to the default standard, and now it's in, uh, it goes back to channel one as well. So it just goes back to the channel one and it resets all of your uh, privacy codes to default settings. So if I press and hold this function button again, it'll say channel code memory again, and which basically means it's back in the privacy mode. Uh, excuse me, back in uh, the default setting for privacy codes. So I'll press and hold this just to show you. So it's back in default settings and it'll give us another prompt channel one. to let us know that we're back in channel one. So just some uh, pretty cool functions and features of these PX655s. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy, the, or enjoy your walkie talkies. Uh, I think this is a very solid um, um, walkie talkie to uh, have. Uh, one of the few of the functions we went through auto squash mode, maximum range of standard, the lock function, as well as the privacy code setting on these devices here. Um, as you know, we have the talk function and the channel code selector and the volume selector, um, the volume knob. So uh, these are also rated to be IB4, I think it's IBP4, IBF4, uh, IP, whatever, waterproof um, and dustproof. So, if you guys want to see a video on that, let me know if you guys want me to do a video on, to see how waterproof these may or may not be. See how dustproof they may or may not be. I can show you that as well. Um, let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Uh, just as an added bonus, not really a bonus, but um, um, I did receive my hair radio. I talked about this in a little, another video that I was studying for the hair radio license, which is the Biofang UB5R. I can tell you more about that if you guys are interested. Like and well, comment below and uh, let me know if you guys want me to do a video on this, which gives you a very, very, very uh, long range. Um, and you can talk to pretty much anybody, anywhere, almost. Um, so, I have my hand radio. I have a technician's license with that. Just want to let you know that it had a benefit. But back to the PX655. Um, this also has an emergency call setting, um, which... Uh, all right, so this also has an emergency call setting, which is the red button here. If you guys see that little red button, of course you do. Um, that red button on the top there is your emergency call setting. Uh, press and hold this. <laughs> press and hold to turn that off. That is <laughs> very loud. I uh, hope I didn't wake anybody up because it's like 5, 5.15 right now and everybody's sleeping in my house. But anyway, uh, so this allows you to set that setting um, and for, let's turn this off here. Right now you can still see us in emergency mode. You see that red and green? Yeah. So now this is allowing me to communicate for a few seconds while it's in emergency mode. I don't have to press the talk button at all and I can communicate with the other device or it's right here actually but if it was away and I can communicate without even having this on by pressing that red button there it allows me to that sound will also generate on the other walkie talkie super super loud um, and then after eight seconds it allows you to talk without pushing the PTT button you can talk help I need help I don't know you in emergency mode so it allows you to talk and then after that, it goes off. So, and it allows you to receive. So, um, just something to know uh, about this uh, walkie talkie. I don't know what you would use emergency mode for. I guess if you're 30 miles away or for, on a flat terrain and someone can't see you, or if you're I'm not quite sure how you would use this. Let me know below in the comments if you guys would use the emergency alert button. Uh, tell me how you would use it, what setting would you be in, and uh, I'd be very interested to know.
uh, how you would use that function or this feature. Um, I probably would never use it. Uh, but anyway, that wraps up the functions and the features of the PX655. Let me know if you guys like this video. Like and subscribe. Comment below. Talk to you guys next time. See you later. Bye.